नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू योर चक्र योगा क्लास We're going to begin in Shavasana. We will be going pose by pose through the chakras, chakras starting from the seventh chakra, the, the top of the head, all the way down to the root chakra. So a down-regulating chakra yoga class to help align ourselves, bring ourselves back to the earthy groundedness, feelings of comfort, and hopefully joy from that. So whenever you're ready, release yourself onto your back. Getting comfortable, cozy. Maybe you'd like some props or to take a supported shavasana. Maybe you want to widen your legs and reach the arms as wide as your space allows. And just begin to release down to the earth. Letting go of everything that came before this moment. Ignoring the triggering thoughts of planning what's next, anticipating what's next. Just allow yourself to settle into this moment. And you can do that through bringing your awareness to the breath. So noticing how the body accepts the intake of oxygen, exchanges it throughout the lungs, throughout the blood vessels, as it circulates throughout your body. And then noticing the exhale, carbon dioxide, And that feels exiting through the nose. I invite you to close your eyes, relax the gaze, softening the eyelids, releasing the shoulders, releasing the hip points and quieting the fingers and the toes. Allowing yourself a few moments here begin to draw the awareness to the crown of the head. Space of the seventh chakra. And as we relax here, I invite you to consider the mantra. As I find rest within myself, I align with my authentic being. As I find rest within myself, I align with my authentic being. Be present with yourself in this posture. For a few more moments. Continue to breathe fully, expanding the lungs. The belly lifts, and exhaling, compressing the chest, releasing the belly down. Taking air in and out through your nostrils. As I find rest within myself, I align with my authentic being. Take a final inhale. Slowly draw the legs together. Reach the arms up overhead. Stretching, lengthening the front body 
and exhaling, curling into yourself on one side. Spend a breath or two here. And then gently press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Sit up as straight as you can. The shoulders relax, chin slightly tucked. And begin to bring your awareness to the third eye center. So right in between the brows, the third eye center is actually deeper within the skull, within the brain. But as you sit here and breathe, breathe into the center of the brows your third eye point, which is the sixth chakra. Imagine you can inhale and exhale through that space. Full deep breath in, long, slow exhale out. On your next inhale, blink, open the eyes. Reach the arms up overhead. Lift the gaze to the third eye center. Also looks up as you bring your palms together. Exhale them down through the center line of the body until they rest in front of your chest. Inhale and exhale. On inhale, bring the palms up together through the center line, reaching up overhead. At the top, release them and exhale, fold over your legs as you reach your arms back. Lower your palms to the floor or to your knees. Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, fold a little bit further over your legs as your body allows. And then as you inhale, curl the spine back to sit, bringing the palms together at heart center. We'll take two more of those seated sun salutations with our eyes closed, if you're able, gazing through the third eye center, center of the brow. On an inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, release the palms, reach the arms back behind you as you fold forward over the legs all the way until your head drops, the hands reach behind you to meet the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, keep the hands grounded. Exhale, release the forehead down. Inhale, roll up to sit, bringing the palms together, heart center. Exhale into that space. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, release them at the top as you fold over the legs, reaching the arms back, ground the hands, release the head and the neck. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the gaze, halfway lift. Exhale, fold the forehead back, downward. And then inhale, roll up to sit, bringing the palms together. Tuck the chin so your third eye gaze is down towards your fingertips. Three breaths here. Exhale through open mouth on your final release of breath. Link open the eyes. Plant your hands in front of you and slowly make your way to downward facing dog. Taking your time. Walking the feet back. Pressing your chest towards your thighs. Releasing the crown of the head towards the earth. Again, find your third eye center and continue focusing on that point between the brows as you inhale and exhale through your downward facing dog. See if you can find some stillness in the stance. Allowing only the breath to expand and contract your body. We'll take five more rounds of breath here. If you're able at any time, you're welcome to 
Gently drop to your knees. Continue to focus that breath through the third eye center, your sixth chakra point. And as we spend our final breaths here, I invite you to consider the mantra. I connect with divine wisdom and my inner vision. I connect with divine wisdom and my inner vision. Take one final inhale here. Exhale, lower to your knees. Untuck the toes and shift the hips back over the heels. Finding hero pose. If you prefer another seated posture, feel free to sit any way that feels most comfortable for you. And take one more inhale through the third eye. Exhale through open mouth. Open the eyes. Sit up as straight as you can. On an inhale, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale them down the back. Take a few more of those shoulder rolls with your own breath. Moving our awareness to the fifth chakra. The throat center. Relax the shoulders down the back. And lower the left ear down towards the left shoulder for a neck stretch. If you'd like a little bit more intensity, you can extend your right arm out long. And continue to drop the left ear towards the left shoulder. Keep the heart open here so we're not curving forward with the spine. Stay somewhat straight, somewhat erect in your spine as best you can. Lower the right arm if you took that variation. And on your inhale, lift the head back to center. Deep breath in. Exhale, lower the right ear towards the right shoulder. And breathe here. Maybe extending that left arm out. Give a little bit more sensation to the stretch of the left side if you need it. More breaths here. On your exhale, lower your left arm. Inhale, lift the head back to center. Inhale, lift the chin, open the throat, dropping the head back. Exhale here. Gently on an inhale, bring the head back to center. And exhale, tuck the chin. Tucking in as best as you can, lengthening through the back of the neck. Inhale back to center. Exhale here. Take a deep breath in again. Inhale, look to the left, keeping the rest of the body facing center. Just look over your left shoulder, trying to gaze behind you. On your next inhale, Bring your gaze back to center and exhale. Full breath in. Exhale, look to the right. Gazing over the right shoulder, trying to see behind you. Releasing on the exhale. Inhaling back to center. And coming to a cross-legged position if you're not already there. Switching the crossing of the leg. So whatever your normal, whatever lower leg you normally have in front, go ahead and switch them up. Even out our, our postures, our hips here. And to continue opening the throat, the fifth chakra, I'm going to take seated yoga mudra, or you also have the option of mongoose pose. So mongoose pose. So, We'll start with uh, seated yoga mudra. For seated yoga mudra, we're going to clasp our hands behind our back, draw the fist down the spine, inhale, lift the heart, and exhale, fold forward, tucking the chin. So kind of closing the throat here. That's your first option. Your other option is mongoose pose. So sitting 
long and straight, walking the hands back behind you, squeezing the elbows in and inhaling, lifting the chest and opening the throat here. So opening the chakra. So how to decide between which posture to take for our throat chakra. Consider if lately you have you had a hard time expressing how you're feeling. Do you need help communicating? Is there something within you that you don't feel you've been able to express? Maybe not verbally, but spiritually or emotionally. This would be a good opportunity to open the throat chakra through mongoose pose. If you are a little over talkative or if you have a harder time listening, Listening, tuning inward, considering others' opinions. Um, if you need to close that throat chakra, maybe too expressive um, these days, then I invite you to take seated yoga mudra to close off, off that chakra and um, bring that energy more inward. So you decide which will be best for your practice for you today. And then gently make your way into that, that posture. So again, seated yoga mudra, you'll be in a cross-legged position or any way that is comfortable for you. You can also do the standing if you prefer. Clasping the, hind, the hands behind the low back, drawing the shoulders down away from the ears, pulling the arms back behind you as you can, inhaling, lifting the heart, and exhaling, folding over the legs, reaching the arms up overhead. Important thing is to tuck the chin, so closing off the throat chakra. That's your seated yoga mudra. And then again, for a mongoose pose, if you'd like to bring some openness and some space to that chakra, walking the hands behind you, fingertips towards your hips, squeezing the arms in towards each other, lifting the chin, opening the throat, and dropping the head back. You can walk your hands back a little bit further, finding just the right space, maybe walking the hips away from you. Dropping the head back, opening the throat chakra. So spend several rounds of breath, whichever posture you've taken. And I invite you to consider this mantra for, for our fifth chakra. I listen for and follow my true nature. I listen for and follow my true nature. And breathe here. Trying to stay with any discomfort. Of course, releasing, relaxing out of the posture for any pain. Otherwise, use your breath. Notice where you hold tension. Can you use the breath to release it? Take about five more rounds of breath. Inhaling deeply to the belly, slowly exhaling through the nose. And quietly meeting me in a tabletop position whenever you're ready to release. In tabletop, spend a few quiet breaths to yourself, letting that last posture sink in, circulate throughout your body. Next, we'll move to the fourth chakra, the heart chakra. So from our tabletop, extend the right leg back. So just the tips of the toes meet the earth. On an inhale, sweep the right arm open, balancing on that left shin. Breathing here, opening through the heart by pulling that right shoulder back, but also finding some length 
all along that top right side of the body. So press the right hip up, open the right shoulder, find your gaze up towards your fingertips if your neck allows. Breathing here. Another option is you can bend at your elbow and bring the back of the right hand towards your low back, being kind of a bind. You can also reach the right arm up overhead for a little more length on that side body. Just a couple more breaths here. Stay with yourself. Stay in the posture as I bring you your mantra for our fourth chakra, our heart center chakra. Take a deep breath in, stay in the posture, exhaling. I move with an open heart to embrace life as it is. Take another inhale here. And then exhale, gently release by bringing the right knee to meet the left, lowering the right arm down. Finding yourself in hero pose. When you're ready, we'll take the other side. Plant the right hand, extend the left leg long, and turn so just the toes reach the top of the mat, balancing on that right shin. Reach the left arm up overhead. Plant that left foot down. Find some space in the heart by pulling that left shoulder open, lifting up through that left hip, taking the side body stretch, any variation. Again, you can keep the arm lifted. You can bend at the elbow and plant the left, the back of the left hand to your low back, or you can reach that left arm up overhead. Keep the heart open here. So keep pulling that left shoulder back wherever you are. Breathing into our mantra. I move with an open heart to embrace life as it is. Feel the expansion in the upper chest and the upper back on your inhale. Slow down the exhale. Embrace the sensations as we invite the heart chakra to crack open. Take about five more rounds of breath here. Final inhale. Exhale, bring that left leg to meet the right, sitting back onto your heels for hero pose. Bringing the palms down your legs, maybe closing the eyes. Again, giving time for that posture to reverberate throughout us. On an inhale with the gaze. Shift the hips to one side. Make your way to boat pose. So we move down to the third chakra. So balancing on the tailbone, the sitting bones, bringing the hands behind the knees, relaxing the shoulders, keeping the low back straight. You're welcome to stay here, or you can release your hands, palms up. Eventually begin to straighten the legs, but take it step by step. We want to keep our back straight, so hug the belly button in towards the spine. Breathing here. A couple more breaths. Adjust as you need. Stay with yourself. Stay with your breath. And then exhale, lower the feet. Walk them in so your feet are in line with your hips and we'll take reverse plank or altar pose. So palms are down on the mat, fingertips facing your hips. Inhale, lift the belly, creating a tabletop with the front body, dropping the head back. Breathe. 
exhale. Inhale, exhale, lower the hips, coming back to boat pose. Palms up. Gaze forward past your toes, lifting through the heart, lengthening through the low back. Exhale, release, coming back to altar pose, reverse tabletop, lifting up. Inhale, exhale, lower to boat. Inhale to float the feet and the arms. Stay for the exhale. Inhale into boat. Exhale, lower the feet, lower the hands. Inhale to reverse plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale to boat. And stay with that movement of inhaling to your reverse tabletop. Exhale and lowering the hips. Inhaling to boat. Staying for that exhale. And one more inhale before exhaling, lowering the feet and the hands. Your next breath up. Coming to reverse tabletop. Exhaling, lowering. Continue with that dynamic movement of boat to tabletop as I introduce you to your next mantra. I thrive with abundant energy to create my own joy. I thrive with abundant energy to create my own joy. We'll breathe through these movements for just three more rounds. Keep hugging the low belly in towards the low back. And after your third lift into your reverse tabletop, exhale, lower the hips and come to a quiet seat. Again, closing the eyes. Just you and your breath here. Let the thoughts pass. Breathe out the judgments, expectations. Breathe out unpleasant, unpleasant sensations. Inhale slowly and deeply to calm the heart rate. And when you're ready to move on, we'll go one chakra lower to our second chakra. From here, we'll take a hip opener of your choice. We have several options. I'll show you a few of them. To begin, I recommend deer pose. So inhaling, just lean over to one side and take that hip open, bringing your legs to about 90 degrees. So the front leg is gonna be parallel to the top of the mat. And the side leg is also again 90 degrees from your hip to your knee to the heel. And centering your spine, inhale, lift the heart. And exhale, walk the fingertips wide. We're not going to fall all the way forward. We're going to keep the heart lifted and the spine lengthens. But you want to broaden through the chest and begin to breathe into the opening of the hips. So for me, since my left leg is in front, it's going to be into my left hip. If you would like to intensify deer pose, you can lower your right arm down and walk the left fingertips out a little bit and begin to turn over that left shoulder. You can also do that the other way by lowering the left arm, walking the right fingertips out, looking over the other shoulder. Just gently play around until you find the sensation that feels good where you can breathe some space and some freedom into any tension. So that's our deer pose. We'll do that and then I'll cue for the other side. You can also take pigeon. 
So from deer pose, walking that back leg in line with the body like a tail, propping yourself up if you need, but keeping the fingertips down and the heart lifted, drawing the belly button inward, the tailbone downward, lengthening through the spine, shoulders pressed away from the ears, heart lifted. And here's your pigeon where you stay. Another option is to take fire log pose. So stacking the shins on top of each other. You want your ankles off the edge. And you can either bring a prop in between the knee and the ankle if you'd like, or just stay here. Again, fingertips down, spine lifted, heart moves forward as you exhale. Pass the legs, you'll feel that and that hip there. So that's your fire log pose. If those three also don't sound interesting, I've got one more for you. You can also take supine figure four, crossing the right ankle over the left knee, staying here, lifting that left leg and pulling that left leg in gently as you energetically press that right knee away. Keep your ankle past the over the leg and breathing there. So choose one of those or another of your favorite hip openers. If you have another you prefer. And begin to breathe into that side, allowing your awareness of everything else to fade with your inhales and your exhales. And for our second chakra, I invite you to consider this mantra. I flow with the seasons of rhythm and rhythms of life. I flow with the seasons and rhythms of my life. Let's just breathe into that. As you deepen your breaths and allow your body to open, you may find you can bring the heart a little bit more forward or draw those legs a little bit closer in. Maybe you find you went a little too far and you need to back it up a little bit. Pay attention to the calls of your body more than the calls of your ego. Whatever posture you find yourself in, wherever your edge is, if you honor that, your body will honor you. Breathe. And as you're ready, we'll gently switch sides, walking the fingertips back or slowly releasing your legs to the mat. And just move gently and intuitively to switch sides. There is no rush. Be intentional with each movement. Be curious on how your mobility can bring you from one posture to the next, one side to the next. Settle into your shape on the other side. Take a big inhale. And as you release on your exhale, bringing the heart forward or drawing the legs closer, keeping the shoulder blades together and down your back, the, sh the front part of your heart open, your jaw relaxed, and the breath sent to whatever hip is feeling it right here. I flow with the seasons and rhythms of my life. Keep coming back to your breath if you find your thoughts have scattered. Release tension where you may be holding on.
find some length through the spine. Let your exhale melt you down. Releasing into the posture, releasing into yourself. Take about five more rounds of breath here. Of course, you're always welcome to stay longer as you need. After your final exhale, inhale, lift the gaze or release the legs. Slowly begin to come up out of the posture. Coming back to a seat. Extend one leg out long. And bring the sole of the other foot into the thigh. Sitting up onto your sitting bones. Lengthening through the spine. Inhale, reach the arms up. Turn towards that right foot. And exhale, reaching for your ankle, release the hands down to the mat or to your leg. Shrug the shoulders down the back. Again, lengthening through the spine on the breath in. And then exhale, allow yourself to melt over the leg. Let the head hang down. Slowly transitioning down to the first chakra, the root chakra. Beginning to let the heaviness sink in. Getting to invite sensations of groundedness and support. On your inhale, lift the gaze. Walk the fingertips back as you sit up. We'll gently switch sides. Extend the opposite leg wide. And bring the sole of the other foot into the inner thigh. Find your stable base. Then reach the arms up overhead. Turn towards the long leg and exhale, chest forward, reaching for the ankle. It's okay if you don't grab it. Relax the hands down to the earth. Shrug the shoulders down the back. Inhale, look up. Exhale, melt forward. Lengthening the torso over the extended leg, letting the head hang heavy. Again, giving in to gravity. Sending the breath to the back of the long leg. One final breath in and out here. Inhale slowly, begin to sit back up. Make your way to child's pose. Option, of course, to keep the knees together in traditional posture, or the other option of widening your knees to the edges of the mat. Maybe you want to prop yourself up for supported child's pose. Relax the forehead down towards your mat or your props, allowing the belly to soften between the knees or on top of the thighs. Palms facing down. Surrendering towards the earth and maybe inviting this mantra in. From within, I find comfort and connection. From within, I find comfort and connection. Begin to release down towards the earth, relaxing the forearms down. Allowing the tailbone to become heavy as it lengthens towards the earth. Relax the shoulders. Soften the jaw.
and just breathe. Slowly, fully inhaling. Exhaling, pressing out as much air as you can, emptying the body. From within, I find comfort and connection. And for our final posture, gently lift the forehead and walk your torso forward, lengthening the legs behind you for sleeping crocodiles. We're gonna bring the forearms in front of us, palms stacked so we can lower our forehead down onto our stacked palms. You can widen your legs, your feet. You may help release the low back. Wiggle into a comfortable posture. And this will be our Shavasana today. So we've made our way from the crown of the head to the base of the spine. Aligning our energy centers, our chakras. Allow yourself to find that rest here. Fully supported by the earth and your connection to your true inner self. If this posture is uncomfortable or not possible for you, feel free to take any other shape or posture that feels comforting and grounding to you. Allow yourself to be lost in the breath, releasing every inch, relaxing your whole body, starting from the crown of the head, the forehead, as it gently presses against your hands. Relax the eyes and the jaw, releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth. Release through your shoulders and the upper back, Release the awareness of your breath. Feel the hip points melting down, supported by the earth. Relax through your glutes, your thighs. Soften the knees. Relax your calves. Allow the feet to also feel heavy, gently depressing into the earth, into your mat, becoming absorbed. Allow yourself this peace, this stillness, this rest, as long as you need. Thank you for joining me today. 
And I'll see you next time on the Rochelle Mat.